Hello everyone, this is Dr. Biba Singh and welcome to my show Rhythm of Healing where we speak about many different things, music, medicine, life, and a lot. Today, I have a guest, Mere Ajo guest hegene, o ik board certified fellowship trained dermatologist name. Dr. Zain Hussein, who is a board certified dermatologist, fellowship trained Mohs surgeon and cosmetic dermatologist is with us today. So, and by the way, he is running a very successful practice in Marlboro, New Jersey called Dermatology and Aesthetics, which I will provide all the information. Let us give a very warm welcome to Dr. Zain Hussein. Thank you so much, Dr. Singh. It's a pleasure being here with you. Thank you, Zain and uh, Dr. Hussein. Um, it's really lovely. I'm so excited because um, Sadi culture with Sadi like uh, uh, com a community nu a bod das na zaruri hai ki dermatologist ki honde ne. So a dermatologist in simple language is a doctor who takes care of our skin, right? Um, Sadi skin da tyan rakhde ne doctors but asi dr hussein to thode detail vich main sunna chahne ha ke exactly dermatologist honde ki ne so dr hussein i want you to explain to our viewers like in very simple language we know that a dermatologist is a skin doctor right but you do so much more please tell us exactly what a dermatologist is um, sure. So a dermatologist is a physician who is an expert not only in the skin, but a lot of people forget that we're also experts in the hair and nails. Ah. So we pretty much take care of any disease or any problem that um, can surface on the skin. Um, and, you know, as you may know, the skin is the largest organ of the body. A lot of mm -hmm. people don't know that. And there's a lot of different manifestations, a lot of different rashes, a lot of different conditions that can occur. So dermatology is a huge and diverse field. So, you know, we treat medical dermatology. We are also taking care of surgical cases because of skin cancer and other growths that we have to take care of. Um, there are also um, a lot of pediatric cases. We take care of children as well as adults. We take care of all ages. Um, in addition, we also read our own slides. We do dermatopathology. So whatever we take off the skin and examine, we actually can take a look under the microscope and interpret, uh, which is a very unique aspect. Uh, not many fields do that. Um, and then, of course, there's a huge burgeoning field of cosmetic dermatology, which um, encompasses anything from the skin, hair, and nails with enhancing our beauty and, you know, a glow. That is amazing. So I think what you hit on, which was so important, and I actually even forgot, I didn't even bring it up, is that uh, along with skin, uh, hair, and nails ka bhi dhyan rakhte ho, so that's really important. And also like for children, for infants, and our whole body, right? So I think that's such a key thing that we forget actually when thinking about, about a dermatologist, right? Yeah, so you said that you do a lot of different, um, you know, procedures, you do cosmetics, you, you actually read your own slides, which is really amazing. Um, Tell us about some of these because a lot of people don't even know about Ajka, um, like, kitne procedures I have, cosmetic procedures, fillers, um, chemical peels, um, you know, so many different things. So, aap apne office mein kaise procedures karte ho? Like, thoda sa hame batai. Absolutely. So, and what they are for for people who are not medical, right? So, jo dekh rahe hai or uh, koi doctor nahi hai ya onno medical knowledge nahi hai. So, Unko hum samjha sakte hai, what exactly is a filler? What is Botox? What is, you know, the procedures, lasers, facials? Like, what exactly do you do? So there's a lot um, in dermatology. So I'm going to kind of break it down sure. in a very logical way. So we're going to kind of divide dermatology into three buckets. So we'll talk about medical dermatology first and the procedures that I do for that. Um, we'll talk about surgical dermatology. And lastly, we'll spend um, quite a bit of time on cosmetic dermatology. Wow, medical. you're a really organized and great guest. I don't even have to go into You already have it divided up for me. <laughs> Yeah, so let's start off with medical dermatology, our bread and butter. Um, okay. So in dermatology, um, and a lot of people in our community don't know um, 
how important it is to get regular skin exams. Um, a lot of um, you know my parents or you know a lot of my colleagues mm -hmm. don't really think that the Daisy community um, has to worry about skin cancer, and that's mm -hmm. one of the main things that I do actually in my practice. We examine, and you know, there's a myth. Um, you know, not only Caucasian or white people get skin cancer. Actually, all skin types and skin colors wow. can get skin cancer. So, ये बहुत जरूरी बात है कि आप बोल रहे हो कि हम सोचते हैं कि खाली गोरियानु स्किन कैंसर होता है बट इवन हमारे देसियों में भी कैंसर स्किन का हो सकता है Exactly. Um, so one of the main things that we do in our practice is skin cancer screenings. We examine the entire body head to toe and examine the skin and make sure that there's nothing um, suspicious or concerning for skin cancer. Mm. Uh, so, you know, that's really important because we all have moles on our, uh, on our, on our bodies and we want to make sure that they're healthy ones because there are certain types of skin cancer that can develop um, can, that can look like moles as well. So we just need to make sure that, you know, you get regularly checked. Okay. Um, other things that we we deal with in medical dermatology um, are lots of rashes. So we see eczema, we see psoriasis, we mm -hmm. see contact dermatitis. Um, so there's a whole variety of them. And then there's some rare type of um, conditions where we have like autoimmune conditions, things mm -hmm. like that. So we deal with a lot of these different, um, you know, skin conditions. Mm -hmm. And both of these type of um, skin conditions, we sometimes need to do tests called biopsies. Okay. So this is a very simple but very important procedure that we do as dermatologists where we sample the skin. And one of the unique aspects of our field is that everything's external, it's on our skin, so we can actually sample the skin. Right. Um, just under local anesthesia, we can numb the skin, uh -huh. take a sample, and we can either um, send it off to the lab or look under the microscope ourselves and get an answer exactly wow. what's going on, which is really cool. Um, you know, like a lot of internal medicine, you can't do that because it's inside right. the body. You have to do lab tests, imaging, things like that. Here, the skin is actually giving us a lot of information and we can test directly from that painlessly. Um, so that's one of the unique things that we can do in the office and with barely any pain. So agar kisi ko rash hai, कोई भी बॉडी दे उत्ते रैश है या कोई दाना है या कोई मोल है अम तुसी हो डॉक्टर जो उन्हनु देखना चाहिए था लॉर्ड पीपल डोंट नो लाइक अगर कोई रैश आ रहा है उनको या उनको खारिश हो रही है या उनकी स्किन पे तिल है या मोल है they don't know. They just go to their regular doctor and, and mm -hmm. sometimes they're prescribed like a Benadryl or something and they go home, but it doesn't go away. So exactly. they're supposed to see a dermatologist. Absolutely. And people don't know that in our community. Exactly. Um, and, you know, most of the time we see a lot of benign things which are normal. They don't cause any harm. They don't turn to cancer. But when they do have suspicion or they are skin cancer, then we have to go on to the surgical side where we basically will cut out any of that um, cancerous tissue. So, so we perform skin we think they are could be you can do surgery also. Which yeah. is a great thing. Aki doctor ke pas jake apki jo bi concern hai uh, skin pe um or agar apko laga ki wo cancer hai ya koi buri cheez bad rahi hai to aap usko remove bhi kar sakte ho yeah right? all, in the, all in the same office and wow. under local anesthesia you don't have to go to the hospital you don't have to go to the or for that see that's um, so important so for our community it, it's pretty amazing that we can yeah. kind of accomplish that all um within the office very um, nice. so like especially for skin cancer like if we can remove that we can either do an excision where we cut it out mm -hmm. we it out, we put stitches in and then we heal the skin. Um, I also am fellowship trained in Mohs surgery, which is a very specialized surgical technique for removing skin cancer. We remove it and I actually look at the slides in real time. We have frozen sections. We look at the margins, see if it's all clear. If it's all clear, you're cured of skin cancer. It's a 99% cure rate. And that's amazing to be able to be able cured of skin cancer in the same visit. Um, right. And then I do advanced plastic reconstruction to give you the best cosmetic and functional outcome so wow. that everything looks back to normal. That's amazing. And Dr. Hussein, I will say one thing because I'm also a doctor mm -hmm. in medical school, in our field, we know that dermatology is one of the hardest fields to get into. So you are brilliant. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. So it's worked really hard. <laughs> no, both up uh both a chi information up viewers go there, which is really important. Kyoki hum up ni skin ka, balon ka, nails ka, uh kabi kabi dian ne dakte, and it's really important for people to know that skin is also really important. Um okay. Tell us more, because you were saying medical. Like a lot of people were, once I was asked about dandruff or like dry skin or like you said, eczema, like tell us a little bit more. 
Yeah. So, I mean, those are really common skin conditions that we see in the office. So let's talk about eczema first. Mm -hmm. So eczema is um, a skin condition that affects a lot of people and often from a very young age. Mm -hmm. So we have like children who have these patches of dry and inflamed skin okay. and they're very itchy, very uncomfortable, affects their sleep, uh, sometimes affects their oh. self-esteem as well because, yeah. you know, they're really, um, you know, it can sometimes disfigure the skin. Right. So. And this is something that has a has a genetic component. So oftentimes it runs in families, and you know it often requires you know topical treatments such as uh, moisturizers, okay. um, topical steroids, which I prescribe. And sometimes when they're severe enough, there are actually new medications that are actually injectables oh. um, that really have um, changed the game for really serious cases of eczema. Um, but like I said, you have to be able to be evaluated, and you have to go to the right doctor. So a dermatologist right. would be the pro doctor to go to to get that treated and get it under control so agar parents dekh rahe hain aaj to zaruri batana hai ki agar aapke baby ko ya bacche ko skin ki patches ho rahi hain ya they are uncomfortable kabhi kabhi um, you know like unko bahut zaruri hai ki dermatologist ke paas leke jana hai Mm -hmm. Yeah. What um, about like separate? I don't even know the medical term, but dandruff basically. Yeah, that's a great one. That's a very common yeah. condition. I get it myself too. Um, so separate dermatitis um, is a inflammatory skin dis disorder. So basically, what happens is, like in your scalp, you can get dry patches. You can get scale, which looks like you know, which is essentially dandruff, and that does not only affect the scalp. It can also affect the eyebrows. It can also uh -huh. affect the nasal labial folds, like okay. the um, the laugh line area. Here. Um, Mm -hmm. And it can also affect, you know, other areas of the body. Um, and this is interesting because it's often due to inflammation from yeast on our skin. Oh. We all have yeast on our skin, but when you have like a disbalance, um, mm -hmm. it can lead to inflammation and cause a lot of these, um, you know, the scale and it can be very irritating and itchy. So what's the treatment? So there are a variety of different treatments. So for most cases, they resolve with, um, you know, topical um, prescriptions such as uh, shampoos that are medicated. But, but you These have to prescribe them. But the mm -hmm. prescription ke milte hai, wo special yeah. so, so those are antifungal shampoos typically. Whoa. However, um, you can also potentially get, um, you know, over-the-counter antifungal dandruff shampoos that are also okay. very helpful. You, that's a very great, uh, you know, thing to know because people don't even realize that's like a medical issue and they can get help for it. But we're going to take a quick little break and then talk a lot more. Welcome back, everyone. We're back on my show, Rhythm of Healing, with Dr. Zain Hussain, board-certified dermatologist. Dr. Hussain, we were having an amazing, wonderful conversation. You were telling us about medical and surgical dermatology. So mm -hmm. please tell us more. Um, so another condition that um, we do see quite often um, is a condition called psoriasis. Um, and this is another inflammatory skin disorder um, where we see dry patches, but they have often a silvery scale. Okay. And it can really range from just a few patches um, to covering the entire body. Wow. Um, so this is another condition that does affect the Desi community as mm. well. Um, so, you know, there are a range of treatments. There are topical steroids that we use. Mm. There are also, you know, moisturizers that we recommend. Light therapy, which is very unique in dermatology. We light use therapy? Light yeah, so we wow. use UV light therapy to actually decrease inflammation and That's use it as a treatment, which is really interesting. Wow. Um, and then also there are biologic medications that are injectables that have really um, blossomed in the past 10 years wow. based on a lot of research and has really changed uh, the treatment uh, so protocols. So many people for don't know about this. If you have a skin ki problem, you can get an injection and a laser treatment. Bhi ho sakta hai. So there's so much out there. Thank you, Dr. Hussein, for educating us, you know? Yeah. So tell us about the surgical. I, or did we have more medical stuff? I'm sure there's no, so much more, but there's just, there's so much. I mean, it's uh, it's it's there's books and books about dermatology, but those are the main ones we typically see. Um, so on the surgical side, we talked about most surgery. We, we talked about excisions. Um, you know, we also use lasers. So we had talked about that, um, and wow. we use that for surgery as well. Mm -hmm. So laser surgery is very unique for dermatology because we can actually treat the organ um, right from you know in our offices, and mm -hmm. you know there are different 
targets. We sometimes target pigment, which has the brown spots. We target, you know, blood vessels, which are sometimes the redness that people mm -hmm. see. So and I'm also for reduce. This is so important for our community. Both mm -hmm. uh, ladies, I will ask you that we discolor our skin, pe dhane, uh, like patches aa gaye hain brown color aa gaya hai like melasma pregnancy ke baad bhi skin pe change aa jate hain ya unki shakal pe affect ho raha hai so aap isko treat karte ho yes Yes, okay. absolutely. Excellent. And there's so many different treatment options for that. Um, you know, like we can start off with topicals, which are creams that are uh -huh. formulated to specifically address the pigmentation. Okay. Um, we can do procedures. Um, so we do chemical peels to kind of help wow. exfoliate the skin, brighten the skin. Wow. And that's very helpful. We use energy-based devices and lasers to also target pigment. Um, you know, we have to be a little cautious with our skin types mm. because we are at a little bit of a higher risk for burning because mm. we have pigment in our skin, right. but um, we can use it in the right settings and in the right experience, we can definitely improve that. Um, other things that we can do, um, you know, there's microneedling, there's PRP, platelet-rich plasma. There's a variety of different wow. things that we can do to help enhance the skin. Um, retain brightness and help improve hyperpigmentation so which how, often affect the community thank you for telling us how um up itne like achhi cheeze bata rahe hain aur sadi community which agar kisi ne tonu uh, visit karna hai aur aajkal coronavirus which asi telehealth visits we bahut kar rahe hain consultations kar rahe hain so how does one reach your office do you have a website that you could share with us you know an yeah. email uh, you know. Yeah, so you can definitely take a look at our website, www.njdermcenter.com. So njdermcenter.com. Yeah. Um, or you can call our office, 732-702-1212. Okay. And you're actually uh -huh. not too far from Edison, New Jersey, which a lot of our Desi community knows yeah, about. A lot of patients from Edison. Um, yeah. And, um, you know, we'd definitely be happy to take care of you. And also from, like, all over, really, because today uh, telemedicine has come, so if there's something that you can video pe dekh ke treat kar sakte hai, and if you yeah. think it's more serious, of course, you'll do an in-person visit, I'm sure. But uh, at least we have those options, too, right? Yeah, of course. So we do a lot of teledermatology and that, especially in the past six months with the right. coronavirus pandemic, we've been doing a lot of that. And we've been actually doing a lot of cosmetic consultations, um, you know, via telemedicine. So, you know, if you're interested in any of our services, um, I'm happy to spend time and really assess what your needs are mm -hmm. and give you a great structured plan. Dr. Hussein, my favorite part as a woman is the cosmetic procedures. So, hame please batai. Bahut sare desi kehte hain hame gore lagna hai. Jo politically, I'm not gonna say beauty doesn't mean fairness at all. But you know, radiant skin, beautiful skin, vibrant and and you know, glowing skin is so important. Um, you know, aging. Kehte hain log hame young lagna hai. Hame hamare muh pe wo wrinkles aa rahi hain. So tell us how you can treat that and how you can help people. Absolutely. So Dr. Singh, half of my practice is in cosmetic and aesthetic uh, medicine. So what I like doing first is, um, you know, talking about preventative options first before they get worse. Okay. And then also talking about what we can do to enhance what you have currently. So with what you first alluded to with the, the pigmentation and, you know, the, you know, you don't want to look fair. Well, the first thing is you have to realize you have to protect your skin. Um, a lot of people in our community don't use sunscreen. Uh -huh. And that is something that's um, a big problem because sunscreen protects you from the sun's UV light. That is what causes hyperpigmentation in the first place. That's what leads to darkening in the skin when you have exposure. Interesting. So sunscreen, Konsi, um, Apto specialist to his cheese mains, which sunscreen should people use if they're watching today? What do we do? So the recommendation for sunscreen, I recommend a mineral-based sunscreen. What that means is the active ingredient would be zinc oxide. Okay. Titanium dioxide. I don't like the chemical sunscreens because they can cause other problems such as allergies um, and other issues. So I really do stick with zinc or titanium based sunscreen. Where do you sunscreen. buy it? Oh, you can buy that anywhere. So CVS, you can buy that Walgreens. online. online. Um, yeah, you can, you just look for the ingredients. Yep, just look for that. So zinc uh, oxide and? and Titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide. So, if you are saying the first thing for skin, ke liye, every person should wear sunscreen. So every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. I need to remember that too. 
Yeah, and that's very important. You know, you'll just get used to it just like brushing your teeth. If you just put on your sunscreen before your day, you're protecting your skin. Uh -huh. And that really has so many benefits, not only with helping preventing the damaging rays of the UV light from the sun, um, which leads to skin cancer and mm. premature aging, um, but it will also keep you looking young. And that is mm. one of the biggest things I see. Like, if you protect your skin, you will look mm. years and decades years. Nice. Um, and what you know, about kids? Um, but choco bhi lagaya kare roz. Absolutely. I put sunscreen on my daughter's face every day. Wow. And same thing, just any over-the-counter, like for our viewers, they can just get any. Yeah. Very Absolutely. nice. So that's the first thing. That's for prevention. Okay. So let's move on to what else we can do to kind of help after there is a problem. So with the pigmentation, we talked about the prescription creams. Right. Um, chemical peels, lasers. So you really have to kind of get assessed by a dermatologist to see which would be the best option for you. Um, so once you have a structured plan and you stick along with it, um, I do think that you'll definitely notice improvement in mm -hmm. any of your skin conditions. Okay. Now for other conditions like the wrinkles. Um, so let's talk about wrinkles. That. Yes. Julian jo shakal te yeah. Yes. So there are different options for that too. And I'll start off with conservative treatment. So first using good skincare, that's really important. Okay. And two of the primary products that I recommend to my patients is one retinol um, for nighttime that helps with building collagen and preventing wrinkles and is liquid gold. This is something you should be using every single night wow. because it will help prevent wrinkles. And can they uh, also get uh, Purchase it from your office. I mean, yeah, I'm sure you from have all office. The I have my own skincare line, so wow. um, you know we do have a retinol that's formulated and tends to be non-irritating because it's green tea polyphenols in it. Nice. So a lot of people just really like that. Um, the other active ingredient that I really recommend is vitamin C serums. So vitamin C is a very powerful antioxidant. So okay. what that does, it also helps build collagen, helps with brightening the skin naturally, okay. and really gives you a nice youthful radiant glow. So nice. if you use those two at least, you can kind to help stave off wrinkles and also have a brighter complexion. And vitamin C in the morning, at night, like retinol is at night. Um, mm -hmm. Vitamin C I prefer using in the morning. Okay. Before your sunscreen? Yep, before your sunscreen. So always think of your sunscreen as your armor, the last thing you put on to defend yourself. From even after all... makeup? Even after makeup. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, so that's what I typically recommend for the early stages. Now, if you have significant wrinkles, you don't like the way that they look, um, there is a very simple procedure called Botox. I'm sure mm -hmm. you've all hear, heard of it before. Um, and that is really great for helping to reduce the appearance of wrinkles. Now, let me tell you what Botox is. So Botox is actually a toxin. Um, and what we do is we actually inject it into the muscles to help relax them. Um, and what that does, it helps kind of get rid of all those little creases on your face mm -hmm. and gives you a nice, smooth, um, and youthful look. Botox um, is amazing. Like, I have seen that there are some wrinkles here or there. And if you have Botox, which is your specialization as a dermatologist, you, and, mm -hmm. you, know, you do these cosmetic medical procedures, I mean, people look like 10, 20 years younger. Yeah, you know? and if you want an example, look at my face. I have it in my face right now. No way. So I do it. I've been doing it since my mid-20s. And wow. what I've been doing as well, you look doses, like you're in your mid-20s, so... <laughs> <laughs> so it really does help with the anti-aging process. So if you start off, um, you know, younger, um, you know, you can really help reduce those lines from even forming. And that's what we are really aiming to do. And wow. then that will also help enhance, um, you know, just your overall appearance. And yeah. I do think that it's a great, safe and easy way to really make a big impact on your appearance. And Joby Hamare, like, because we are talking on a channel, I want to mention, like, celebrities, TV channel, pe, actresses, actors, yes, sub because they all look so young it's not natural i mean people get stuff done you know yeah yeah and it's more accepted and if you do it in a natural way i'm still able to express myself still right. move but i just don't look as tired and i, I look honestly a lot would never have guessed it you know that never <laughs> like i didn't even know yeah, so you're so doing a great I'm, job. I'm not ashamed of it. It really does. It's part of like my field, and it makes me feel better. It makes my patients feel more comfortable. They can relate to me. So I do think that's really important. And doing it in a natural way, that's really important. Because you probably have seen bad Botox, too, before. Right. People can't move. They look frozen. Um, that's not what we're aiming to do. We want a natural so, aesthetic. So you, I wish we had a lot more time, because I have so many questions for you. 
but you do Botox, you do fillers, you do peels, you do laser, hair removal. Just yeah. quickly go down the list for our viewers because I want them to obviously know all that you do and they will go on your website or watch our episode and reach out because we're almost nearing our, the end of our episode and I wish we had so much more time because you've you're a wealth of knowledge. All right, so I'll go this, through this really quickly. So we talked about Botox. So let's talk about fillers. Um, so fillers are um, basically, um, we use hyaluronic acid fillers. Um, it's a gel that we actually inject into the skin to plump in the skin, um, increase volume, and really helps with rejuvenation. So the most common areas that we treat are like the cheeks, the nasolabial folds, the Milo mental, um, you know, folds, uh -huh. and that really helps give rejuvenation. Um, and we can use fillers in a variety of different ways. Um, other things that we do, um, PRP, platelet-rich plasma. This is a really hot topic in dermatology. Mm. Um, I'll explain this uh, procedure really quickly. So we draw your blood in the office, we take the blood and we spin it in a centrifuge and separate the blood components and we extract the growth factors from the blood uh -huh. and we actually inject it into the skin for rejuvenation. Wow. Um, and that really helps with wrinkles, that helps with volumization, that really keeps you looking young. Wow. Also, we take that same PRP and we inject it into the scalp for hair loss. So that really helps improve hair regrowth and really helps enhance the hair density. And it's really been very popular. Wow. And we talked about lasers a little bit earlier before. So another thing that we do, um, you know, we treat brown spots, we treat red spots, we treat for rejuvenation, for kind of smoothing out wrinkles, scars. So there's a lot of different options available for that. Amazing. I, I know there's so much you do, but I want mm -hmm. our viewers to know that, you know, going to a dermatologist is so mm -hmm. important for your skin and your hair and your nails and for beauty, mm -hmm. youth, I mean, cancers, medical treatments. So Dr. Zen Hussein, you were amazing. Thank oh, you. Aapne itni achhi tarike se sabko samjhaya aur bataya and kitni information di and we are going to definitely list your website, your phone mm -hmm. number and for anybody who wants to follow Dr. Zain Hussein, tell us what your Instagram and Facebook yeah. and social media handles are also. Sure, absolutely. So for Instagram, it's at Dr. Zan Hussein, um, and you can also find me on Facebook with that as well. And then also my practices is at NJ Derm Center, and same thing for Facebook. So you can definitely follow me, say hi. I'd love to say hi to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hussein. We will catch up very soon. Take care. It was a pleasure. Yes, thank you. Same.